Aston Villa will win the Premier League. That's what some people are saying. Rory Jennings is a big advocate of Aston Villa and he thinks not only Villa will be in a title race, but he thinks Villa could potentially go all the way. Aston Villa have undoubtedly been incredible this season. 14 home league wins in a row. It's almost unheard of. For a team like Aston Villa, we're not considered big six, but we've been incredible. I know some of that form from home goes into last season, but it is an incredible testament to how well Unai Emery has done at Aston Villa. As you can see on screen, Aston Villa have played 15 games this season. We've won 10, drew two and lost three. We have the best home form in the league. I mean, we've won every single game. Like I said, we've won 14 in a row. That's seven from last season, seven from this season. The only side to replicate that so far this season is Liverpool, who've won seven in a row, just like we have, including beating Aston Villa. Away from home, it does, however, get a little bit rocky. Aston Villa have lost as many as we've won. And that is a problem. Um, one of the, bi the big losses for me this season, away at Nottingham Forest, their form is not great. In fact, if we go and have a look at their form, uh, you can see there they, they beat Villa and have lost every game since, including a 5-0 hammering to Fulham. Away form has to improve before we start really talking about Aston Villa in this title race, in my opinion. I'm one of Unai Emery's biggest fans. I think he's been incredible at Aston Villa. You know, there's a reason why when he took over, Villa was 17th in the league and he propelled us up the league. There's a reason why people talk about him. I'd even go as far to say Unai Emery is the third best manager in the league, only behind Pep Guardiola and Jurgen Klopp. Those are the only two managers that I think are above Unai Emery in terms of quality. I think he's shown it. Now, it's not been perfect. Like I said, our waveform isn't great. And there are games where I feel like a, a result could have gone bad. Uh, Tottenham away. The first half was terrible. Uh, we conceded several big opportunities. In the first five minutes, Tottenham had two clear-cut chances and failed to score them. We ended up winning that game. Uh, but even if we go on the stats of this, you know, Tottenham still had a higher XG than us, more possession and more shots on goal. A lot. It was it was a, a fairly dominant performance from Spurs, but without the finish. You could even go as far back as Chelsea away. Up until the red card in the 58th minute with Gusto, the game was very even. In fact, if anything, Chelsea was starting to dominate. The red card changed the game. Aston Villa went on to win it. Now, it's very easy to pick on results. You probably do this with every team in the league. And it works the other way. The Bournemouth game, I think we were robbed. Semenya got a yellow card in the 17th minute. And in the 22nd minute, he should have got a second yellow for a very obvious pullback on Leon Bailey, which wasn't seen by the referee. Uh, one of the most baffling decisions I have ever seen. And then the goal that was ruled out for offside by VAR, the angle they gave was pretty ridiculous. It's it's almost impossible to tell if a ball is out of play. It's surely almost impossible to tell if certain players are offside. It looked very close. And I thought Diego Carlos was very unlucky. This game, we did get a late equaliser, but we were the better side. It must be said, Aston Villa absolutely battered Man City. The scoreline doesn't do this game any justice. We dominated Man City on virtually every stat you could possibly think of. Man City didn't have a corner for the first time since 2015. Man City had two shots, both on target, but the lowest in Pep Guardiola's Man City career and faced the most in 22. I mean, this is just unheard of. For Manchester City to lose in this way. City do lose games. They're not perfect. For Arsenal, the only team to have a season completely invincible. But no one beat City in this manner. It was absolutely ridiculous. And Unai Emery is really showing his quality to the world. And people are finally seeing why Aston Villa could be league favourites this season. This is the game of the season for Aston Villa. Arsenal at home. The last team to beat Aston Villa at Villa Park was Arsenal. And it was a very harsh way to lose. I think Emi Martinez scored an own goal. If Aston Villa can beat Arsenal, we will be just a point behind them in the league. Keep doubting Aston Villa. Thank you all for watching. I'd love to know what you guys think in the comments. Do you think Aston Villa could go all the way? Do you think we'll fall off the Conference League? does seem to have a say. Some of our results do drop off after those midweek games. Will Aston Villa hang on? We are 15 games into a 38-game season. There is still a long way to go. 
It seems like Girona are doing incredibly well in the Liga. Bayer Leverkusen in Germany. This is what people want. We don't want the same teams winning things every single year. We like this excitement. I love the Leicester story from 2016. I'd love Aston Villa to have our own. Thank you all for watching.